connect those dots. Yes. We can connect the dots because when we first began in, in the book of Isaiah, we said that Isaiah is, he is uh, quoted more times in the New Testament than probably any other prophet. So then when you go to the New Testament and you hear something that Jesus said, when he says, as the prophet Isaiah said, you know exactly what he's talking about. So it, it makes sense that we have an understanding. And uh, as always, we thank Pastor Bland for, uh, you know, the vision that he had for us to go to. Just let, let's open up our Bible and let's, let's see what God says about it. And so then as we began where Sister Jean left off, we began with God's judgment and his grace for the world. This takes place in chapters 13 through chapters 27 of uh, Isaiah. So basically that's what we're talking about today. So if we pick up, <coughs> excuse me, if we pick up in uh, chapter 13, it begins a section that ends at um, Isaiah 23, where he prophesies against the nations. And it's fitting uh, judgment to begin at the house of God, because we know when Isaiah opens up, he begins by prophesying to Israel, saying what thus says the Lord concerning Israel. If we go back to the first chapter, and let's do that right now, let's go back to the first chapter of Isaiah. Are you there? Amen. And in the first chapter of Isaiah, in the first verse, it says, The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me.